So, hey everyone, I'm Lucky. So, um, today I'm going to talk about the Solar Cloud Manager, which is like a powerful tool to manage your solar clusters from a single point. So, the solar, uh, the what's the origin of the Solar Cloud Manager? So, the reason why we came up with the solution is like we have once so we have multiple solar clusters, and to manage them, there was no centralized API or control center. So that we can make the changes and get propagated to all the solar clusters. So, to make that, we basically create a solar cloud manager, which basically has much more potential and the capabilities. Like it can initialize your solar cloud along the clusters with the configs, and this could happen across clusters. Second thing is like it's a single interface where if you want to change any config or updating them or uploading a new config itself. So you just need to upload that config to the API or the UI we have, and it will just update that config inside the Zookeeper and reloaded your solar cluster if you want to. So it has like multiple options to do that. To do that, other thing is like tracking down the CDCR changes and the status. So it will basically track down the CDCR changes which is happening. So once you trigger CDCR, it will check the status and notify you what the status going on the UI or the API server. Then you can also trigger the backup and the restore, and it can notify you if it's in async mode that once they are completed. Along with that, so there are cases. So in our current case, we basically have like a live shadow uh, alias to manage the uh, data in indexes. So to switch the aliases or creating or managing the aliases in the multiple uh, cores or across clusters. So this Solar Cloud Manager is helpful in that cases. And so, so in a case where you just want to switch the aliases, something goes wrong in your live cluster, we can the backend or team or the DevOps team can just use a single API to just switch the cluster, switch the aliases on that. So here is the architecture uh, proposed for this one. So once we have multiple solar clusters, like cluster one, cluster two, cluster n, there's a single um, set of services which is like Solar Cloud Manager running on top of them. So, and there's a React UI basically, which can, it's basically enhance the ease of use to use these APIs. So, if there's a service running, we just want to interact with the clusters, like ingestion has switched the aliases after ingestion, then they can use this API directly. Or if the, something goes wrong and someone has to create the collections or update the collections, the developers or DevOps can use the React UI or can just use the API which can directly update your clusters. So it's basically a wrapper around all the APIs we have, but brings all of them under one umbrella. This is the sort of API list we have. So like we have for aliases, CDCR, data restore management, and the cloud core management. So as you see in the aliases, we have like deleting all the aliases, switching the aliases, or you want to switch for specific clusters, all the aliases, or just a specific collection you want to switch. Similarly, for other process like CDCR and the core management, we have like cluster based thing. And if I go to the UI part, so this is how our simple UI looks like. So you can select the cluster from the drop down and you can see the solar health. So there could be cases that uh, you can see that one of the clusters is down, but other clusters are alive. So you can see from this UI itself that which cluster is down and what are the health on other clusters. So this is a single point of. Uh, or, as, or the first point of check that if someone wants to do what, how the health of solar clusters is, and they want to update the solar cluster, or they are all the clusters, they can just use this UI and the services to do that. So that was the solar cloud manager. If you have any questions, you can just post to Slack. So that's all I have on the solar cloud manager. have uh, some of the questions uh, which are posted on the channel lucky one of them is also mine i would i would bring my question as well but sure. before that uh, we have we have more questions so um, there's a question that uh, do you use uh, cdcr for the disaster recovery so it's not so cdcr is not for a disaster recovery but so currently we are not using cdcr so in cases there when there are cdcr so it basically enhances the use case but some of some of the cases where we need to use CDCR as data recovery because like uh, so cluster one could be a blue cluster cluster and the red cluster 
So in that case, yes, CDCR will be using, but we are not using in that way. Okay. Uh, there's another question that is the Solar Cloud Manager open source, which was one of my questions as well. Yeah. So actually, I have created a Git repository which I'm working upon. So I have uh, created the API which are like open source right now, but I'm working on the UI. So the UI which I've shown earlier is not a fully fledged UI. I'm still working on that. So it will mm -hmm. be uh, launching soon. But yeah, the uh, repo is already open on GitHub. Wow, I think we all look forward to uh, this being available for the use. I think it's going to be a great utility. Plus, um, one of the questions that I had was that, do you plan to extend this for the master slave architecture as well sometime in future? Maybe something Sorry. similar? Sorry, I missed the question. Can you please repeat? Uh, do you plan to uh, extend this kind of capability for the master slave architecture as well? Yeah. Yeah, so basically I'm planning to cover all the cases or all the APIs that Solar provide so mm -hmm. that it will be a complete big umbrella. So nobody has to go to Solar UI to make the change because in our normal case, we have multiple clusters, right? We don't operate on a single Solar cloud most of the time in production. So to manage such, such kind of cases, yeah, I'm planning to evolve it to cover all the Solar APIs. Okay, great. Yes. We have a lot of more questions coming in, but we are tight on the schedule. So I would say that... Uh, we would have to take them in the social session. So sure. um, yeah, we have we have uh, very good questions, I would say. I think I can take one last question uh, sure. from Antrim. Um, it says, how do you plan to handle security? Does the manager get access? Yeah, so to for security- To all the clusters. Yeah. Exactly, so actually for security, what I, so what we're doing is like, the UI is made on React and we are putting authentication on services, like HTTP based authentication. So mm -hmm. nobody will directly, so the operations like, which is basically a post or put operations, we are putting okay. security there. So nobody oh. can directly change that. Okay, yeah, so you got to share the link and I think people are really excited to explore. Sure, definitely will do that. Okay, so I think, uh, thank you so much for a great talk. This was pretty interesting and I think it's going to be super useful for a lot of us who will be using uh, Sora Cloud. And I look forward to your master slave um, um, manager as well sometime soon sure. and thank you so much i think we are going to bring you back again <laughs>